Alphas don't give a fuck what they weigh. Beaters do. Be alpha. Just a quick plug before the video starts. Go to DrewRider.com if you're interested in $40 jerseys. There's a couple left that did sell out. I apologize for that. We've got more coming down the track. My two ebooks, Carb the Fuck Up and Dream Riders Lean Body Bible, the best ebooks if you want to get seriously lean and live a seriously simple, basic digital nomad lifestyle and save a shit ton of money, earn great money, meet cool people, inspire people, and get the best results you've ever got could imagine in your life. Go to DreamRider.com, get my latest ebooks, game changes, guaranteed. All right, we've got some watermelon here, just did a little three and a half K run, getting G'd up. Uh, marathon goal for this year 2019 it's gonna be a, a year of running and uh, my current marathon PR is two things 248 247 I've double checked on Strava but I wouldn't go into that and uh, someone said how do you lose the last five pounds and I was like last five pounds how do you because uh, you know, running it's all about the lightweight stuff isn't it and same with cycling it's all about the lightweight stuff lightweight jerseys lightweight hats overpriced sunglasses how much, how to, how to lose that last five pounds. Like, who determines do you need to lose five pounds? You know? Who, who says who? Your ideal race weight. The title of the video should really should be called How to Find Your Ideal Race Weight. Your ideal race weight is where your head and your body are in unison. I know people who are really lean and their performance is shit and their head's fucked up. They're just a drain on everyone around and they can't give, all they can do is just take from people. Just take, take, take. But they can't really actually give anything. They've become worthless to the parents, to themselves, to their boyfriend, to their girlfriend, to their workmates, everything. They just, you know, and that's that's when you're too lean. You know, when you can't really, we know much energy. Or when, you, when you're getting beaten by fat people, or heavier people, and you look like you should be going faster, then you're probably too lean. Assuming you're doing the training as well. I mean, you might be a high carb vegan who's just lean because you eat really well like us, and you don't do any fitness, and you're lean, but you can't perform. And so you might be totally mentally sound. But this is more for the athletes out there, the people who really want to be fit. How lean is too lean? You know, I meet it all the time in cyclists. I meet cyclists who are really skinny and they're emotional, especially guys. You know, their testosterone levels drop right through the floor and they come like these little bitchy beta, orbiting beta fucking clowns, you know, with raffer jerseys and pock helmets. You know, and there's a lot of them around the place. And there's some people who wear raffer jerseys and pock helmets are so really legit people. I'm generalizing here, but you know, so you, you it's good to be lean, but if you're becoming a moody bitch and you're not really bringing everyone up around you, you're not really being inspiring, you're just being you know very uh, narcissistic or pretentious. I guess you could measure on your pretentious level, that's a good way to measure your performance as well. And your health is how pretentious are you becoming? How friendly are you to the noobs, or you just don't have that energy for anyone other than yourself or for people who might be able to help you in life. So you had to lose that last five pounds. Don't worry about that. Focus on maximum performance, maximum wattage, and also maximum emotional stability. And once you've got those two things in the line, then you're going to be having a really good quality of life as well. Uh, the emotional stability should always be there. Always be there. The fitness obviously varies over the year based on blood volume, training, and stuff like that. But emotional stability can always be there. So ask yourself, how stable am I right now? And, and get rid of the scales. Get rid of the scales. I don't have scales in my house. I've got to actually, and I was just thinking. Why are you looking at me, not the camera? The, the camera just cut out there. Natasha had a, a uh, an episode of the watermelon. <laughs> but I don't have scales in my house. I have, so I have kitchen scales in my house. Don't own a set of scales other than kitchen scales for weighing bike stuff, all right? You, why weigh yourself, you know? Why weigh yourself? The only time you should weigh yourself is if you're a boxer or a fighter and you've got to make weigh-in. And you're making sure you you know you have the right in the right weight class. But if you have to do drastic shit to drop weight, one, you're either fighting the wrong class, two, your diet and lifestyle is shit, and get my ebooks and get lean the right way, the healthy way, stay lean. If you have to cut a lot of weight off, you're in the wrong wrong class or they've got the wrong fucking nutritionist. Get my ebooks, get the real fucking results. But get rid of the scales, man. You know, if you're a runner out there, get rid of the scales. You don't what do, what do scales mean? No animal nature weighs itself. No animal nature new makes YouTube videos either. Do you know what I mean? Like it, it, they give the scales to people and mirrors to set, to judge our self worth. Oh, you're not this way. You could be under 50 kilos or 35 or 122. Well, arbitrary fucking numbers. What does it matter? What does it mean? Either fat or you're fit. 
And if you're not fit, get fit. And if you're fat, get fit. It's fat or fit. That's what it is. It's fat or fit, man. So ask yourself, am I fit or am I fat? I mean, if you're fat, get fit. And if you're fit, keep fit. Simple as that. <laughs> Otherwise, it's just being, we're being silly. We're being, we're being like anorexic teenagers. It's like 12 year old, 13 year olds. Ah, da, 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 da. You know? Get rid of the fucking scales. Stop fucking weighing yourself. Just perform. Get it done. Work harder. So weighing, weighing yourself is just dumb. I used to weigh myself a lot. Just because I was curious about hydration. But I never ever got in the scales and said, oh, I'm only blah, 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 blah. I'm not good enough. Fuck no. I got in the scales to, to measure like, wow, I can gain 10 kilos in a day just from eating a lot of watermelon and water. And the next day, pissing out all night on the evening and stuff like that. So I was really curious as to how the body weight, the fluctuation just goes up and down. The body's just a sack of fucking water. It goes in and out all the time. So when people are trying to control it, it's dumb. I, I, I go around to forums and you see you got 50 year old guys going, oh, I woke up at 71 kilos, I just don't eat until I'm back down to 70. Yeah, seriously, I do that. It's like, what the fuck? It's like, I'm on, I'm on a like, forum, is this cyclingnews.com? Or is this like, bike rate or what? What's these people doing? So it's like, just dumb. People just, they put too much worth on the scales. Get rid of the fucking scales, man. And uh, have good posture. You know? If you use a mirror, use it to check your posture. Stuff like that. Use stuff to empower yourself, empower others. How to lose those last five pounds. Get rid of the fucking scales. Weigh about five pounds. That's how you lose the five pounds. Fuck off your scales. Eat well. High carb. Low fat vegan. Lots of sugar. Lots of fruit. Lots of veggies. Lots of rice. Keep your fat intake low as possible. Train smarter. Not harder. Train smarter, not harder. Be a good person. Raise the vibe. Competition for me means pushing each other higher. It's not about pushing each other down to get one up. You know, fuck this one up and shit bullshit going on right now in the society. It's bullshit. Get rid of the scales. That's fucking beta. Alpha. Alphas don't give a fuck what they weigh. Betas do. Be alpha.